Hey guys, my name is Mask, and before we start this unboxing video, I wanted to show off my new Tonto knife. It's purple, got skulls on it, it's so pretty. It has a seatbelt cutter and a windshield breaker, which I think is really awesome to have in a knife. And it's also engraved with my favorite slogan, Get Tontoed, Bitch. So starting us off today is Bard. Bard comes in a pretty standard size box. When you first open it up, you can see the card of authenticity. You can also see that Bard is wrapped in standard tissue paper. Nothing too special about the wrapping. You can also see that the base of Bard is not the standard. The standard usually comes in black and Bard is blue and has two levels to it. It's very well detailed. I really love every little piece of it. It's very pretty. You can see a close-up to get a better idea of the details. And I'm going to bring in a special guest, Vi, to show a height, weight, and base comparison. So right away you can see that Vi's base is black and Bard is blue with two levels to it. You can also see that Bard is about an inch taller than Vi and Bard is more heavy than Vi is. Overall, I really love the way it looks. The colors, everything, it's really well made and I absolutely love it. Up next we have Wearing Kingdom's Azir. His box is a lot taller, it's about an inch or two taller than the standard boxes. Right away you'll see the inside the box there's the card of authenticity. Also what's really interesting about this one is this figure is wrapped in plastic. All my other figures have always been wrapped in tissue paper, but for some reason this one's wrapped in plastic. They also taped the sides, which has never happened with any of the other figures, so it's they're trying to protect it more is my guess. But it definitely was different. The figure is huge. It's it's probably the biggest figure I have and it's a lot taller. It's hard to see but I'm going to be comparing it with the other figures. The colors are absolutely great. The details are great. Nothing feels flimsy. Everything feels pretty sturdy. Overall, it's an absolutely great figure. Highly recommend it. If you can still get it, totally get it. Totally worth it. Up next is Dragon Trainer Tristana. She's in a standard box. Here's a comparison. She does have a different base, not a standard base as well. Getting her out of the box was also really difficult. This one wasn't taped shut for some reason, but you can see the card of authenticity. And this one is wrapped in the normal tissue paper that all the other figures usually come in except for the Azir. Um, pretty easy to open, it wasn't taped shut. And opening it up. It's really pretty. The colors are absolutely fantastic. The pink really pops. The bottom has, it's a little hollow, but it's very sturdy still. Here's a comparison. They are about the same height, but Tristana is heavier. And here's the comparison in height. Azir is definitely taller and Azir is more heavy. Here's a brief 360 so you can get a better idea. The crack shell looks absolutely amazing. Highly, highly recommend. Here you can see better detail of the colors and details. It's a really good figure. Highly recommend it. Great price point. Absolutely fantastic. This one was very interesting. This is Final Boss Viger. Now, the box is different from all the other boxes. This one you actually slide off. It's very holographic, it shines. The box is pretty cool, I, I really like it. And here you can see that slides off. But then it's actually in a standard box underneath. The colors are really great, they really pop. The shine is incredible. I don't know if it shines as well on camera, but in person it shines a lot more than the other ones. Um, here's a standard box to show that it is in a standard box. It just has a cover. And opening it up, fairly easy, not too hard. This one is taped shut. Here's the card of authenticity. The inside is green. 
Most of the time it's just plain cardboard. This one is wrapped in tissue paper, which I thought was interesting because if his ears in plastic, you would think this one's in plastic. But either way, wrapped in tissue paper, not too much of a big deal. You can see that the base is different. It's very sturdy. Looks absolutely amazing. It is pretty heavy. Here's a close-up so you can really get an idea of the details and the colors. The base is pretty cool. And here's a 360. You can see the 8-bit in the cape. They really put a lot of detail into it. I really like it. Here's a comparison to Azir for the weight and height. I would say that they're about even. And here's a comparison in height. It is larger than Tristana, but Azir is still taller. Overall, really great figure. Absolutely love it. The box is really cool. It really is. I, I really like the box, and I keep the boxes, so I really appreciate the effort they put into the boxes. Overall, really great figure. If you can still get it or find it, absolutely get it. It's amazing. So I got this one in the mail recently. This is Lunar Goddess Diana. This one came with a card. It just says, like, thank you for purchasing. And it also came with an envelope with a Moomoo. And it just says, thanks for being our friend. So they added a little something extra, which I thought was a really nice touch. So here is Lunar Goddess. Her box is the same height as Azir's box. It's the same thing, practically. Very shiny. This one was taped shut. When you open it up, there is the card of authenticity. As well as it is wrapped in tissue paper. It was a little harder to open because it was taped, but once you see inside, you'll kind of see why. So when you open it up, right away, the colors really pop. It looks absolutely stunning. You can see that there is a little bunny detail at the bottom, which when I first looked at it, I didn't see it. And then I took a second take and I saw it. And it it's a great detail to add. It really gives it a little extra something. The colors really pop, amazing, love the quality, love the design, everything about this figure is amazing. It is probably my favorite figure out of all the ones that I own. It's absolutely stunning. Here is a comparison in height. Diana is actually taller than Azir, but for weight, um, it's very clear that Azir is heavier, his base is bigger. So his, his weight is bigger. Overall, great figure, great colors. Absolutely stunning detail. If you can still get this figure, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's absolutely amazing. Now here is a box that I was really excited to get. This one is bigger because it has two items inside. It has the card that just says, thank you for your purchase. And here we have Kindred. I was so excited for this one. It looked absolutely amazing online. When you first open it up, there is the card of authenticity. This figure is also wrapped in tissue paper, but you can see that it's bigger than all of the other ones that we've seen. Um, opening it up, fairly straightforward. There was no tape. The colors are so amazing. Azir is taller, but Kindred is actually more heavy, which I was a little surprised at. But the colors look so great in person. It almost gives kind of a glowing feel to it. Really, really love this figure. It's absolutely one of my favorites, if not one of the top three that I own. It's absolutely incredible. If you can still get this figure, I highly recommend that you do. It's incredible. And now for more icing on the cake, we have a Kindred plushie. So excited. I love plushies so much. I was so excited when I saw that they had one for Kindred. But I will say, getting this plushie out of the box was so hard. It took me forever to get the plushie out. Like, you can see me struggling here. It was so hard. 
Um, I had to use a knife to cut some string and then I had to like push limbs through strings and it was such a complicated process. I thought I was like trying to, um, I don't even know. It was just way more complicated than it should have been, but it was not that too big of a deal. But here is Kindred. Um, Kindred would not sit on her own. She kind of just refused. Um, I had to go get her a friend because she would not cooperate with me. So here is Nar. Nar, I freaking love this plushie. It's my favorite from Riot. Like, I love Nar as a champion and everything. So I got Kindred to France, and now she sits up straight, and you can see that Nar is taller. But they're so pretty. I love them so much. And then here we go. This is all of it together. All the figures, all the plushies, everything looks amazing and incredible. Um, we're going to do another pan so you can see just another brief overview of all the figures. You can kind of get an idea of the heights as you go along. I would say that my favorite figures by far are Kindred and Diana. And then Viger and then Azir. Um, plushies are tied. But, you know what? I love everything. Let's, let's be real. I love everything. Absolutely amazing. The figures that Riot makes keep getting better and better. I'm always impressed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to add me on League, my name is Mask. I'll put it in the description. And I hope everyone has a good day. Bye.